So welcome back guys, this is episode 1 of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Vlog. This episode is called Deal the Destroyer. So we get introduced to pretty much what started the whole Deal Brando versus the Joestar family. And it all starts off with a carriage wreck. Yes, the really sad scene of a carriage falling down in the middle of a storm and everyone's dead. But then we have these two people come up and say, Oh look, dead people, let's steal their stuff. <laughs> I mean... The two people who show up is Dario Brando and the wife. I have no idea what her name is. And they already follow the trope of ugly husband, hot wife. I mean, the wife is pretty normal looking, shiny skin, everything that you would see in an anime woman. But then you get the guy who's like short, stubby, balding, no teeth, liver spots, completely butt ugly. But somehow they're in love and they're married. Oh, love, I don't know. And the guy's going through all the stuff and he sees the stone mask, which I think will come into play later on. Well, it does come into play later on, but we'll get to that in a second. So he starts robbing the guy. All of a sudden, he's like, hey, look, dead guy. Let me get his stuff off. And the guy actually awakes and he's like, huh? sir, have you saved me from my death? Are you my salvation? Tell me, what of my wife and my son? Uh... This guy thinks we saved him. The guy starts lying to him and says, like, yeah, we saved you, but yeah, your wife is dead. Your son's fine, though, so, yeah, we're cool, right? The guy says, before I slumber, tell me your name so I may know to repay you in the future. My name's Dario Brando, sir. So then we get flashed into the future and we see that Jonathan Joestar, or as we know him in this series, Jojo. I wonder why, because of Jonathan Joestar. J-O, J-O, he's named Jonathan, like me. <laughs> I'm bizarre too. <laughs> so then we get a flash forward to see the lies between Dio Brando and Jonathan Joestar, and it's complete two, he two, two sides of the coin, two sides of the coin. Dio's in the hard streets, gambling, trying to make men ends meet, and his dad is like completely abusive. Apparently he worked his mother to death, so it's only him and Dio, while Jonathan is, well, what else can you say but a pompous prick? I'm not a pompous prick. The only thing he's done that's actually gentleman like, gentleman like, is that he tried to save a girl uh, doll. Her name is Arena, and this scene didn't, 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 didn't par with me too well. Mostly because like these two guys that sold the doll say, ah, we got your doll, ha ha ha. But then they go into this whole thing of like, hey, I wonder if we look under her dress. Will it be like a real girl? <laughs> Who thinks about that as a kid with a doll? I've done it in the past. I was a little. Shut up. But of course, Jonathan Joestar to the rescue. Tackled. Punch, 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 punch. And punch, 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 punch. And it does absolutely nothing. The kid pretty much double axe hand to the back of his neck. And I swear that should have killed him. But apparently it didn't. They find out who he is and beat him some more. To show off he's true gentleman-like, even when he's beaten and they run off, he says, No, ma'am, do not tend to me, for I am a gentleman. And even though I was going to lose, a gentleman always comes to the honor of a lady. Then we see the scene that set the things in motion. Dio's dad is dying, like a horrible <coughs> death. And says, Listen, kid, take this letter and send it to George Joestar. The guy owes me a favor. If you play your cards right... You might be able to take his fortune. I know you can do it. You can be the richest person, most powerful person in the world. Just do it for your dad. <coughs> and dies. <laughs> and you would think, like, Dio would be sad, like my father just died. No, the kid looks down at the grave and spits on it. Like, you, I don't care about you. You killed my mother. I'm going to leave and become part of these Joe stars and take all that money, not because you asked me to, but because I want to do it. So he goes to the Joe Stars um estate, and he does this very ominous, 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 this really weird entrance. His bag falls off the carriage, and he just like this whole Superman jump. Whoosh. Like okay, why was that needed at all? Oh, little thing about this series. Uh, it's known for its poses, and I swear, they pose a lot in this series, and just not even trying to, inadvertently posing. 
Like the guys when they're standing up straight, they're not standing up straight like they're sort of like. Hello. The pose game will come in really good in this one. And you know what? I think for every pose you're gonna do, I'm gonna do a picture of it and put it in the uh put in the episode. That'll be kind of fun to do too. So look forward to the Judge B poses. <laughs> So to get introduced to the estate, so I say, listen, this is Dio Brando. His father saved my life back when I was younger. So you shall treat him as you would my son. I was like, okay, cool. The dad tries to show Dio to his room and like Jojo's like, oh, look, he forgot his bag. I'll help it up. He grabs the bag and I swear Dio loses his mind, grabs the kids like, hey, don't you ever put your filthy hands on my stuff. I will kill you. I will hurt you. It's like, dude, what's going on here? Pretty much his plan is to discredit, if you will, Jonathan as an heir. Just pretty much everything about him, we're going to ruin his entire life. So when it comes down to the part, I will get the uh, family fortune. You won't. And I mean, it's it's horrible. Like, he beats this kid, which comes to the question. Like, the dad was walking up the stairs when this happened, and the servers are still downstairs. But no one witnesses or says anything about this beating he gets. I think the servants don't like Jonathan either. Just just a thought. Just a thought. But anyway, moving on from there. Uh, so from there, we just show, like, more and more of how Dio's going to ruin Jonathan. I mean, steals all his friends. He's better at him in math, which is really weird since he grew up on the streets. Better him in math, better manners, better everything. There's even a friendly boxing match. Friendly. And I swear, like, Jonathan's trying to lay hands on him. It's like... Punches, everything. But Dio's too good. Apparently, he's been boxing for years and pops him one good time in the face. But instead of just popping him and winning, no, he decides to gouge the kid's eye out with him. It's like, what? Who does that? This is really a friendly match and you try to gouge out this kid's eye. But this Dio Brando, for anybody who knows, Dio's an evil son of a bitch. And he's been evil since he's been a kid, apparently. So, I digress. So, after you beat him in a boxing match, he starts spreading out rumors like, yeah, Jonathan Tattletail, don't let him talk to you. Pretty much spreading horrible rumors to make sure he has no friends. He's going to discredit him from his friends, his family, everyone. And it's working really well. All the friends he had no longer want to be friends with him at all. Calls him a, a Tattletail, calls him names, everything. But as one sliver of hope, Elena, yes, the girl he saved earlier who had the doll who had lady parts, decides, oh, I'll be his friend. And they, it's actually pretty sweet relationship they have they're still kids but they're having fun it's like oh screw those guys i have a female friend and they have a nice little thing he even carves her name into a tree like that old sappy thing but of course who shows up but dio brando with cock block move i swear this guy stalks irena stalks her comes up from behind her and kisses her and you gotta remember what time we're in. We're time of chivalry and prudence and everything like that. And he steals her first kiss and is like, Haha, your first kiss wasn't with Jonathan, was it? It was with me, Dio. Back this day, I think like, okay, he kissed a girl. And, but apparently, like I said, it's back in the day of chivalry. So this is like a really big thing. You're not supposed to do that. But Irena's like, you know what? I don't care. I'll wash my mouth out with muddy water. Like she literally was like, nope, nope, get that. Get that off. Mm -mm, mm -mm, get it off. Mm -mm. And in retaliation, he slaps the cowboy crap out of her. <laughs> and once again, it's supposed to be the time of chivalry and prudence, yet no one stops him from slapping a girl for no good reason whatsoever. But because of the kiss, she can no longer send a look at Jonathan because like, my honor is gone. I saved my kiss for you and I can't look at you anymore. And Jonathan's like confused, like, wait, what's going on? Why does she not like me anymore? And the kids say, like, oh, you want to know? <laughs> Dio stole her first kiss. Looks like you won't get any. This puts Jonathan on a rampage. I swear, all we see is a POV of him running to his home. Point of view, people who don't know. And he literally jumps over his fountain in front of his house. Kicks down the door, screaming, Dio! Going full on Super Saiyan. Like, this is Super Saiyan Jojo took her honor i will kick your butt i don't get what you do to me you don't mess with my girl and bo says <laughs> bring it on and tries to lay hands but dio's better at everything and like beats the crap out of jojo for like a good three or four times until he messes up and kicks him he usually kick and grabs his face and we find out that you know 
Jojo says, I am no longer living in this shadow. I need to stand up for myself right now. <laughs> stand up for yourself? He was like, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't do this. You can't beat me. And finally, I swear, finally lays hands on this boy. And it's so great. Like, the ass whooping is phenomenal. And he's like, freaking out. I was like, how can this scum beat me? <laughs> and he finishes up with a giant, sure you can. And knocks him into, like, seizure mode. Like, I swear, the poses are really off in this series. And there's blood everywhere. But then the blood hits Stone Mask. Yes, the mask that showed up in the very first beginning of the episode. It's there in the house. And the blood splashes it. And it just starts rumbling. And then spikes come out. Like, whoa. What's going on here? Apparently, this thing is activated by blood. What does it do? We don't know yet. But we go back to Dio crying. I swear, crying like a little bitch he is. Excuse me. I'm not saying that it's sexist or, you know, being a woman to cry, but I'm saying he's a little bitch. Okay. People don't know I hate bishis. I hate them little bloody passion. I hate them all. And he is exactly what he is. He's a bishi. So after getting his butt handed to him, what does he do? <laughs> you hit me. You can't beat me. Shing. Literally pulls out a knife on him. I was like, okay. That's how I know you useless. The minute that you lose, you want to pull a knife out on people. And I was like, okay, let's let's see JoJo lay some more hands on him. Lay hands! But no, the fight ends because the dad comes like, wait a second. No, this is not right. JoJo, you are attacking a defenseless Dio. Because he came in when Dio was crying. So apparently, it looks like that Dio was the one that didn't do anything. I have a problem with this because parents used to do this all the time. They don't really try to get the full story before punishing anyone. Just simply say, you must did it because he's crying. You did it. Bullcrap. They go to the quarters, they're, they're punished. And Dio, being the bitch that he is, decides to do something horrible. Jonathan has a dog named Danny. It's like a little... He puts the dog in a box and puts him in this place. Place. He put him in a furnace. And had the dog burned alive. Literally burned alive. And it was a very gruesome scene. And it comes back to him saying, like, I have redeemed myself from my humiliation of beating him by burning his dogs. Like, how does that equal out? Of you burning a dog to get rid of the humiliation of getting your butt handed to you. That is some petty stuff. That's not how you win. But apparently that's how he thinks he wins. So like, okay, I miscalculated. I didn't know that that Jonathan had that so much anger behind him and had that much intensity to come after me so i need to calm cool debonair make sure i never lose control of my emotions again make sure that i will win and the episode ends like that we pretty much get told that you know this is exactly how it starts off because dio is an ungrateful little bastard i mean these people didn't have to take him to their home they did it out of depth and gratitude for what your dad did even though he's trying to steal stuff but instead of, you know, being grateful for their help, he starts to steal everything he can and mess with anyone that gets in his way. I've seen Star Crusaders. I know he doesn't get his complete comeuppance. But I hope he gets beat a lot. Like, horribly beaten. Because I don't like this guy. Because he burned the dog alive for no good reason. The dog had nothing to do with their fight, but he burned it anyway. And as a horrible way for something to die. I hate him with a bloody passion. So I hope in the future, he gets more hands laid on him. Lay on hands. Beat the crap out of him, please. So, that's it for episode one, Dio the Destroyer. And we can see why he destroyed it, because he tries to destroy everything that's good in life. And I swear, I hope someone messes him up badly. So, episode two, Dio Destroyer. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, first episode. Hopefully you guys take him for the second episode, where we actually do seven years later. And things are getting a little bit interesting. It's been Judge B coming at you, and it's been epically real.